and we are getting a better look tonight at the damage left behind by a deadly EF3 tornado that ripped through Red Haw State Park near Sheraton. You can see the extensive damage here to the campgrounds and boat docks. And in Lucas County, officials say 40 year old Jesse Theron Fisher lost his life in that tornado. New at six, KCCI's Amanda Rooker sat down with that man's uncle. The two of them took cover together when the tornado hit. Well, two Lucas County residents were living in this house when a fire tore through in January. They had no choice but to evacuate to Red Haw State Park. Jesse Theron Fisher and his uncle Gary Smith tried to take shelter in Red Haw State Park's shower room, but Smith says it was off season and the steel doors were locked. With a tornado coming, they huddled in their camper. Did you feel it hit? The wind was blowing hard and the, the camper was rocking a little bit. The next thing I knew, I was buried in rubble. The tornado tore right through. Gary climbed out from piles of broken tree limbs and sheet metal, searching for his nephew. And I found it laying on the ground. Legs kind of spread apart. His arms out like this, like somebody would lay down and try to make a snow angel. He was gasping for it. And I tried to do CPR on him. And every time I closed my eyes, that's all I could see. 40 year old Jesse did not survive. I lost my nephew and my best friend. It's always been the two of you. Yep, we've always been together since the day he was born. Gary says it was Jesse that always took care of him, who helped him keep going in January when their house went up in flames. This week, the first time in 40 years, Gary woke up to life without Jesse. I thought I heard his voice this morning. <laughs> I thought it was just a nightmare, but I could have sworn it said, his voice is, hey Gary, I'm here. Huh? And there's nobody there. For now, he's living in a motel room with no family, no home, no belongings, nowhere to turn. In Sheraton, Amanda Rooker, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Amanda, thank you. Lives changed in seconds that day. Gary is still recovering from minor injuries. A friend is raising funds to help Gary with funeral costs and other expenses. If you'd like to help, you can go to GoFundMe.com and search Help Tornado Victims Theron Fisher and Gary Smith.